Ready, sir. Start? Yes. So, this elderly man, having presented with uh, some of the travel that we have seen some of the travel. So, I would like to talk about a very important topic. It's about the like, uh, Parkinson's disease. In fact, we call it the idiopathic Parkinson's. So, it has come from the voice of the mother. So, yes. People starting the Parkinson, I like to talk some of the tremor methods. So tremor, what does it mean? Tremor starts in the three categories of tremors that we have. The resting tremor that we call, and secondly, the, the intensive tremor, and also the time and the postural tremor. So resting tremor that we say at the rest, and intention tremor, that is that when you approaching one of the targets, so you have this other tremor. So this is called the intention tremor. And thirdly, that is that postural tremor, having the sustained posture that you have some of the tremor. So that's called the postural tremor. So these are the three categories of the tremor that you are fighting. But I'd like to talk from here, the resting tremor. So this is very much important whenever it comes to the word of the resting tremor, that we call it the Parkinsonic. So the word of the Parkinsonic, the triad that I call, that is called the BTR. What is that? B for very condition, T for tremor, and R for rigidity. So now I'd like to talk the BTR and the Parkinson definitely, but I'd like to talk what happened to the Parkinson. So in a Parkinson the triad, and this is caused by the variety of the causes that involve the basal ganglia energy. So the most important cause that we need to the most common elderly person that comes from. And the number one one is idiopathic. So idiopathic Parkinson, we call it Parkinson's disease, the disease itself. And secondly that we need to accept some of the drug induced Parkinsonism. And thirdly, the Parkinson passing, the varieties of the Parkinson, and yeah, some of the features that we call the Parkinson pass syndrome. And fourthly, the Wilson's disease, the three important diseases that we need to talk to exclude them so that we can get the idiopathic Parkinson. So, yes, the, I would like to talk. The first thing is the idiopathic Parkinson, that is the Parkinson, you know, Parkinson's disease. So, what happened in the Parkinson disease? I said the Parkinson disease is the degenerative of the Degeneration. So degeneration means the degeneration of the night goes type, so the nerves, the dopaminergic nerves. So I said the degeneration of dopaminergic nerves. And dopaminergic nerves releasing the dopamine, and this dopamine is responsible for the dynamism. So I say once again, Parkinson's disease is a degenerative of dopaminergic nerves that leads to the dopamine. So dopamine will be reduced, and this dopamine is responsible for dynamism. So dynamism will be reduced. So dynamism means the kinesia and the movement. If you stop, hello, hey, hey, hey. So what I say is that dopaminergic nerves degeneration leading to the dopamine error down means the dopamine will be reduced. So that the dynamism will be reduced. That is called the kinesia means the movement will be reduced. So the first and most pathognomonic features is a reduced movement that we call the Freddy kinesia. Movements having the two important components that is, I call the amplitude and speed. So he has a both amplitude and speed will be reduced. So in a Parkinson's disease, the degeneration of the dopaminergic nerves leading to the dopamine getting down, so that the dopamine will be reduced. So that's why the dynamism will be reduced. So that leads to now once again the Brady kinesia. So the Brady kinesia is the most important point for the Parkinson's disease. So what is the treatment target should be? Treatment target should be yes, we can give some of the dopamine supplement or we can give some of the dopaminergic nerves agonist so that the dopamine can rest. Like the diabetic patient, that means the patient having no receptors. So yes. So we what do we need to do? No insulin. So we need to supplement the insulin if the patient some of the hand, yes, some of the receptors to work with some of the insulin. Some of the beta cells are remain result. So we can yes induce to release some of the insulin, like the supplement you. So here it was the same talk. If the patient having the yes, some of the dopaminergic receptors, so we can induce them by dopaminergic receptor antagonists. So we call the dopamine receptor antagonists. If the dopamine receptors are damaged, absolutely absent, all right, in that case, we can start the dopamine supplement and we call the lebedophile target. So that's why having some of the younger group of patients, less than 65 years, we should start the treatment dopamine receptor agonist because of some of the dopamine receptors are there is are. Secondly, yes, if the elderly person like them more than 65 years, we expect that the patient or elderly person doesn't have the that amount of dopamine receptors. So that you can use the dopamine supplement like the level of one. 
So now I'd like to show some of the features the Parkinson is. I say the Parkinson is the PDR, ready can share tremor and visit okay? So along with the one the most important point, the postural instability. Because the postural instability, so I I not, I'd like to now add now P T and R as well as P. So I can P T R P T R P. So all them together you need to remember so that you can make your diagnosis. Elderly person having the fall, the history of recurrent falls, the most important type of you should think about is the practice of this one. So I'd like to show now the first point, the ready kind of Now the first one, come close now, close to the hands now. Hard to get a component. So you see, he is unable to do so. Here, the speed is not enough. So this is Bredikanisha, the test that we need to do. Here, immediately after the Bredikanisha, then we need to look for trim. So we put the hands onto the lap and to show them tremor, normal rock and roll. So, body act ke bish pordon to count korte parme ki, just look at that. Act ke bish pordon to count korte parme. Balen act dhoi, balen? Jure, jure. Jure, jure. Act dhoi, ten, five, five, soi. Ulta count korte parme ki na. Bish, unish, eri kum balte parme. Ni? Bish, unish, something like that. Bish, unish, atharo, eri kum ulta count korte parme. Parme, just look at that. Yes, just now face on to me. So, the test that we do, the test that we do, the tremor test is very much important. That we would like to tell to the patients to distract his mental concentration onto the hands by saying that can you count 20 and the back ones, like the 20, 19, 18, so that you can distract him, so that you can get down tremor in his hands, like that we have seen to talk to him so that the tremor is increased, something like that. So this is the tremor test, and immediately after the tremor, then you need to show, once again, the rigidity. What rigidity? He has the cockpit rigidity in the hands, so you need to test, but before hands that tell him, do you have any the pain at the wrist or not? After hati ki vetha asa? Right. So yes, you have to tell him to see the rigidity here. So yes, he has the rigidity. You see the rigidity. Come close, come close. I'm feeling this rigidity. So he has the rigidity. What's your name? Bajlur Rahman Khan. Bajlur Rahman. So this is also another distract that we can do in that way, so that you can see the rigidity more and more. And once again, in these hands, with the candle here. So our body goes high. So yes, we are getting the typical rigidity here. There's a cobalt rigidity. So cobalt rigidity is the combination of tremor and the rigidity so that you can get the findings here. So another test that we can do, after you go over half the air, then tap put them, did it again, did it again, did it again. Colin put it again, I mean the deck work. So yes, this is the rigidity test that we need to do. So the rigidity is increased now. So this is the cobalt rigidity here. So same thing, you need to tell him to do this one. So once again we are looking for the rigidity here. So this the tapping onto the thigh and the other hands and seeing this one rigidity. So sometimes we call the sin kinesia, sin kinesia. So yes. So these are the three important tests that we need to show. Ready kinesia, then the tremor and the rigidity. And also having the postural instability that we call the propulsion and the retropulsion. We call this sometimes the pull test. Pull test means that you pull the patient forwards, that is called the propulsion test, and also you pull backwards, that is called the retropulsion test. But this shouldn't be done in your exam setting. But you need to know about it, how to do that, the posture instead. What is the development? Down to the. Not too close, close. After this one, the gear, this is like a hammer. Hammer. This one. Down to the down close. Some of the postural instability, what you do, if the patient is standing, you just tell him that I'd like to give you support, but I'd like to give a good pull forwards and give a good push into the forwards if the patient 
gets false. So these are the subtle tests that you can do the question having the tendency to fall. So you can get it. So if you do the pull backwards towards you, so these also the pull test. So in that way, this is called the retropulsion. These the propulsion and retropulsion. By doing this test, that you can see some of the subtle having tendency to the fall. You can test them. So we started the very condition, we have done the tremor and then the rigidity and the postural instability that the, the, the full test. The most important talk my dear Parkinson today is that we need to exclude the other differential diagnosis that we have said that first one is the Parkinson last syndrome. So what the Parkinson last syndrome? There are three important things that we need to do. One of the important Parkinson last syndrome that we call the progressive supranuclear palsy, and another name is the Steely research in all this syndrome, I call the source. That should be excluded by doing a test because the progressive supranuclear palsy, supranuclear, the word in the health, the upward and downward with the particle gets palsy. So you need to do the test. So yes, he can able to do so, the particle gets absolutely present. So if the patient unable to do the particle gauge policy, it means the upward, unable to do the upward, unable to do the downward, the diagnosis should be along with the Parkinson features, along with the down particle gauge policy, the diagnosis should be against the shy trigger. Uh, sorry, this is the progressive supranuclear policy. Progressive supranuclear policy needs the Parkinson features along with the particle gauge policy. Usually they have comes up with the down gate policy, then they will up gate policy. Usually patient unable to read the paper, newspaper, reading books, is unable to be presenting features. So start with the yes, the, what I say, the first one is the steely research in all this syndrome or progressive supranuclear palsy. Second to the progressive supranuclear palsy, yes, my dear, the second important diagnosis that we call that the multi-system atrophy. Multi-system atrophy, once again, it includes the shy trigger syndrome, the first one. I say the sound of shy, shy means sometimes the yes, the, Human being, right? Like a male person having getting shy, if there is an erectile dysfunction. So we can keep in our mind the erectile dysfunction, this is the shy. So the shy trigger syndrome is there. So once again, the shy trigger syndrome, shy starts with the erectile dysfunction, is nothing but the sympathetic activity, means the autonomic neuropathy. So autonomic neuropathy, the most important feature of the shy, once again, the erectile dysfunction and dragger, trigger syndrome, and the D for drop that you need to remember the posture. These two important features that you need to look for, ask him any of the erectile dysfunction, along with yes, once again, the second talk, do the postural blood pressure, means the lying and standing blood pressure, you can drop more than 30 by 50, or sometimes some of the books are 20 by 